This is after the 12.5 flat fee. This is after the 17.5 flat fee, okay? This is after the Povetkin and AJ fight from 2018, okay? This is after Wilder Fury won. A draw means you have no fucking rematch, okay? You're not legally bound to any contract. You're out of it. You can do what you want. His contract, he's telling you in his words, on his Twitter, verified, give me a screen share, Austin, that he's doing this because he's a man of his word. Not because he wants to have one face, one champion like he claimed. Not because he wants to be undisputed with his greatest accolade. You are making excuses. Everyone else has to undispute. Everyone else is called the duck. When Canelo didn't fight Andre, oh, he didn't fight Andre. He let him duck. He dropped his belt. And all of a sudden, when Liam got it, he does me. I'm a crybaby. That's all I am. I only complain when it's Canelo. Fuck out of here. And that was a clip of Nesta Gibbs from the boxing voice as he expresses his feelings on Deontay Wilder and Anthony Joshua. And a lot of people. Um, the podcast that day was people was criticizing Canelo for ducking, right? Whereas Deontay Wilder didn't get the same criticism. And that's what I want to talk to you guys about. Um, Deontay Wilder had an opportunity of a lifetime to become undisputed, not just a WBC because he was a WBC champion. He had that opportunity which he decided to give, give to Tyson Fury. And these guys fought to a draw, as we know. A lot of people thought Tyson Fury won, nonetheless. Uh, Deontay Wilder, being the champion, retained his title. That's what happens. Well, after all that, after the 12.5, after the 17.5, after all those negotiations... Okay, after this $50 million situation, not negotiation, but situation, Deontay Wilder wanted to rematch Tyson Fury. Okay, now understand something about Deontay Wilder at the time. Deontay Wilder, as explained by Nesta Gibbs, I'm going to go into detail, was not under Showtime's contract at all. That's the main reason why Deontay Wilder was at the table of the zone because the zone knew he wasn't any under any contract he wasn't signed with anybody he was a free agent he could have done what he wanted to do right and he chose to attempt to fight tyson fury again and when i say attempt because if you look at this time stamp right you can see that he's telling what happened before. Okay, so that was in 2020. But understand, he said that because he was telling Tyson Fury like, hey, I gave you my word that I would fight you and somebody else offered me more money. Well, okay, the cat's out of the bag. If someone else offered you more money, how can that other person be scared, a coward, didn't want the fight? And why did you decide to go this route? See, that's the that's the thing. It's almost like he put his trust in the wrong fucking person. You see what I mean? That's what happens. And that's what that tweet represented. Hey, I told you that I was going to give you my word and give you an opportunity. Well, I mean, you did that in the first place. Why did it have, why did you have to give him another one instead of, Hey, you know what? I know I knocked him out in the 12th round. The referee's full of shit. So guess what? I still got my belt. That's all that matters. So I'm going to go fight and knock out Anthony Joshua. Cause I'm going to get all those belts. But we also know that, Wilder said it ain't about the belts. He said, it's me. I got the best belt. So really, was it about one champion, one face, no one name? No, it wasn't. He used that as a narrative to for that time. Okay? 
Maybe his narrative changed. Maybe he thought, well, hey, you know what? Maybe fighting Tyson Fury is easier. Maybe, uh, you know, I know I can knock him out. I damn near got him this that time. I know I can get him this time. And he can't punch. Versus someone that you've never been in the ring with. Someone that you don't know about. Someone that ended Klitschko's career. That's rumored to put you on your ass twitching properly, like Dillian White said. Let's be real. So I think Deontay Wilder, ironically, went the easy route or thought he went the easy route. Whereas Tyson Fury just was a guy that could punch. His just style wasn't about punching. See, that whole shit about glove gate and all that fucked Wilder up more than it helped Wilder up. Okay? That's what happened. I know what happened. He chose, I'm going to chase Tyson Fury because Tyson Fury is, is the easiest opponent versus, oh, well, Shelly Finkel, he caught, he's messing with Shirley. His name ain't Shirley, it's Shelly. I can't stand him. Fuck what you can't stand. Why don't you go knock out Anthony Joshua for those belts? Why don't you get in the ring with that guy? But you didn't based on a word, not legacy. So you did this because it was a personal preference. So if... Are we fair to say Wilder chose to fight Tyson Fury because he personally thought or personally felt that I wanted to give him another handout? Why did he need to do that when Tyson Fury already signed with ESPN? There's no need to give him that handout. There was no need to chase Tyson Fury. If you thought you knocked out Tyson Fury, why the fuck are you still fucking with that guy? You gave him another opportunity and they just shitted on Dillian White. You remember that in 2019? Dillian White beat Oscar Rivas, right? He beat Oscar Rivas and they took that opportunity from him because they wanted that guy out of the way. Because they wanted another fight with uh, Tyson Fury. They, meaning Showtime or PBC. Why? Because they knew this fight would mean more because it was a merging venture. They knew that. So they gave it back to Tyson Fury. But that has nothing to do with Deontay Wilder's decisions because they already knew he turned down the zone deal, so the zone is out. He has ESPN to deal with, and he has PBC Fox to deal with. That's all we need to worry about. So the networks are worried about the next big fight. They're not worried about the fight that has to happen because it's the right thing to do based on the sanctioning bodies to WBC because they could really give a shit. Okay? So that is what happened. Deontay Wilder decided to fight Tyson Fury. He decided to say, fuck legacy, fuck those belts, fuck fighting the best. I'm going to fight the guy that's the easiest. Bars. Okay? That's what he decided to do because he thought it would be the easy route. And see, that's what happens when you don't have confidence in yourself. I mean, true confidence. You don't have true confidence in yourself or you let your ego get the best of you. Either one, it stinks. If he did either, he thought he couldn't beat Anthony Joshua or he thought, you know what? My ego is big enough that I don't need to fight Joshua. I'm going to freeze Joshua out because I think he needs me or he will need me down the line more than I need him. Either one of the two. And what I personally think, I thought, I think that Deontay Wilder chose, okay, he chose to fight Tyson Fury because he thought Tyson Fury would be the easiest route because the devil you know is better than the devil you don't. Okay? So that man turned out all that fucking money to fight Tyson Fury again and got his ass beat. That is that. And then he got it beat again. Okay, so if you're wondering why Deontay Wilder is contemplating retirement, that's the reason. See, when you make bad business decisions, that is what happens. Okay, especially in boxing. It's not like acting or no shit like that. You can just keep auditioning. No, because in boxing, auditioning costs you your health. Okay, fuck your wealth because you can make a bad decision and mess that up too like Wilder did. He's still rich. So he could sit back and say, well, I still did the good, the best decision or a good decision, but you didn't do the best thing. The best thing would be going after Anthony Joshua because you've already had your fight with Tyson Fury and you didn't fight Tyson Fury right away anyway. 
So there was no need to turn down that fucking money with the zone. I'm loyal. And then Showtime turned around. I'm loyal to Showtime. Then Showtime turned around and said, you know what? Fuck you. Your numbers are not good enough. So guess what? We have to look after our investment. So let's drop you. But anyway, you guys tell me what you think about this video clip. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunching. Peace.